So welcome guys. Uh, over a week ago, I showed you about this board and it's a Arduino Uno. It's a very common board that is used for projects. And um, today I just want to show you the simplest uh, program that you can write and see how it works in your board. Um, pin 13, you remember we talked about the digital pins. Pin 13 normally has a built-in uh, light emitting diode. So when you are doing your, your light uh, 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 programs that involve testing diodes, you do not need to write or connect an external uh, diode because we have an onboard uh, uh, LED that can be tested right away. So that is what we'll be using. We'll be using the pin 13 and that LED to blink it. So let's get started. Uh, so we, we open our Arduino. Uh, it's already here and we, we ensure that is the Arduino ID. We ensure that uh, the board we have selected is Arduino Uno. So it is under Arduino stroke Arduino Uno and uh, the port. So the communication port is six. So when you plug it in, you find that the communication port is selected. So like for instance, if we plug this one out from the computer like that, and then we, we try to check, you find that the port is not active because um, there is no board that is connected. But if we plug it back like that, you can, uh, you can hear this uh, communication. So it is now, so you are able to identify that your, your board is connected in uh, communication port 6. So let's let's see let's see how we do this uh, simple program. So first we have two blocks uh, in Arduino programming. And Arduino is a C plus uh, C plus or C uh, ID and compiler. So we have two blocks: void setup and void loop. Basically, what happens with the void uh, setup is that uh, is that um, that's where you initialize your program. Then void loop is where the program is repeated over and over. Provided this board is powered, it continues executing. So we, we put our void setup and then we open and close it like that. Then we include a void loop. Uh, where we will put our statements that run over and over. And then we only need one LED. So that means it is a variable, one love, one variable. So we can set a constant int, so a LED pin, and we set it to that int. It is as simple as that. You set constant int LED uh, pin that in. It means that you are setting pin that in to be uh, a pin that is attached to that LED you want to control. It's either blinking. So we just be blinking it maybe for a second on and off. Um, the other important thing is that when you put this one, the constant, it means that this pin should not be used in any other way during the program. So it's like we are fixing it. Now we need to define that this pin is output or it's uh, an input because it can serve as uh, an input or output. So we, we use a pin mode, pin mode, LED pin. No, we don't, we don't call it now that in because we have already declared and created a, a variable. Uh, we, we say it is output. Output. So that sets that pin to be output. And then what else do we need to know? Maybe we can send the value when it is on to a serial monitor. Uh, so we, we begin our serial communication, 9600. So we are sending data, uh, we are doing serial communication at 9600 bits per second, or we call it baud rate. Then we start, uh, there is a function that is used to switch and or to drive the output of a pin of this microcontroller, either high or low. So for high, you just use digital rate, that pin name, then I, and or if you want to switch it off, you, you do a digital rate long. So let's see how we do that. We say digital rate um, uh, 
um, our pin is LED pin we drive it high and we want to blink it a second so we delay it we keep it on for one second which is equivalent to a thousand microseconds milliseconds sorry and then we we switch it off delay um sorry sorry digital right uh led pin uh, remember c is case sensitive so you can't write a, a led pin and maybe you put one of them as a caps it's case sensitive so you have to use a uh, uh, exact names that you declare in your variables so we put it long we also we have to terminate the c plus plus comments or c comments uh, statements with a, a, a semicolon for it to execute otherwise it will give you an error then we delay for another thousand so it will be on for one second or for another second and we'll be seeing that um, in a while so after that i think our program uh, is ready for uploading and um, i hope we have selected our board okay everything seems to be okay all right please select our board okay i think we have done that so what does mean is how to upload so you hit the upload button and it will prompt you to save your program of course so maybe you'll just say led blinky and then we save so it will start communicating with the board let me show you so it, it's now uploading into this microcontroller this black uh, ic here so let's wait and, and you can see the process has started it's done in the files and all that so let's see what will happen so once it uploads you see it blinking uh, compiling you can see it's compiling so you just have to give it some some more seconds Uh, if you check this bar it means that it just shows you the progress linking everything together so it is already now done the compilation is completing uploading and it's done so you can see and perfect our led is blinking over here you can see it is blinking per second on off on off so that is how you program the Arduino. That is like a small light there. So you program Arduino and that happens to be the simplest um, program. Um, and we can even say the simplest one is when there is no code written, but you must include the two blocks, void loop and void setup. Once you have these two, the, the program can upload. Otherwise you can't just upload something which is completely empty in the in the sketch so if you need an, um, some kind of a simple program or something which is maybe bothering you for uh, microcontrollers especially the arduino i'll be doing a video on that so please uh, comment in the section below and uh, let's keep learning from each other thank you for watching subscribe share and stay connected goodbye